Hey, y'all. So I kind of just wanted to pay my respects to Treat Williams. Um, I was lucky enough to have a few exchanges with him. When Jane and I were hosting our podcast, if you don't know, I had a podcast with my friend Jane for many, many years. Where, and we were lucky enough to interview some celebrities. And it was a, it was a really fun period in my life. And Treat, he was the elusive one. We were never able to pin him down for an interview, but I was lucky enough to um, have a few interactions with, his, with him, go back and forth, and get to know him just a wee little bit. And he was a very lovely man, very engaging, very charming. And I'm very, I was very sad to hear today that he had passed away in a, a motorcycle accident. He was only 71, which, you know, it's so funny as as we get older, right? Because you you think of seventy one now as well. Wow, that's really not that old, you know. Whereas you know, I think when you're in your thirties, you know, you're like, oh, that's, you know, it, age is 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 kind of relative, I think. But um, such a tragic way to go. But you know, he lived a very full life. He uh, he was in Vermont. He was a very earthy kind of guy. Um, very politically active. He had strong political views. Very funny. And um, I'm just, you know, I'm sending out prayers and my, my thoughts are with his family because it's, it's just very tragic. So, and it kind of makes you think, it's kind of sobering, right, when you see people die and it kind of just kind of grounds you and brings you back to reality and kind of makes you remember what's really important, right? Our family, our friends, um, living each day to the fullest kind of puts things in perspective, you know, the Flintstone lady really doesn't matter, right, and her delusions of grandeur oh my god I can't with this woman I'm sorry I've never in my life oh my god I I feel sorry for her I really do but um yeah you know it just kind of puts things in perspective and I I would say this you know I've seen Dark Angel you know she's been facing a lot of criticism and a lot of people putting out some slanderous things about her and I say this all the time, guys, you have to consider the source, right? And I know that Dark Angel has family and people who love her and people who know who she she is at her core. And sweetheart, that's what matters, okay? Not these these vipers and these internet trolls, because really that's what they are, honey. They're trying to get a reaction out of you because they're feeding off this drama. They're feeding off the chaos. And I would just say rise above. And I understand, you know, if somebody's slandering you, you know, you want to respond to that, but I would say I would take it offline. I would look at legal measures um, and and just try to filter out that noise, right, and just tune it out as best you can, um, you know, because the lack of self-awareness is, is just astounding to me. I, I'm always, I'm always shocked about it. I I don't get it, but it's not something that, you know, I think there's something to be said about rising above, and I'm always reminded of that Michelle Obama quote, you know, when they go low, we go higher, and I think that that breeding and class and integrity, you know, you don't get on your, your platform right and say, well, I'm so intelligent, and I have breeding, and I have in class. It shows in your actions, okay? The way you carry yourself, right? That's That's what defines you, okay? Because anybody can say anything, right? But it's how you carry yourself, right? And you can be poor, rich, whatever, and you can still have decorum and class and be kind, okay? It doesn't matter what your background is. And some of the kindest and most classy people I've ever met don't maybe don't come from the, the best, most affluent backgrounds. But anyway, where am I going with this? Treat Williams. Again, really lovely man. Um, he was on a show that I really enjoyed. If you haven't seen it, it was called Everwood. Such a lovely show. Just uplifting a family, kind of a family show. And just an amazing actor and amazing human being. So uh, God bless Treat. Rest in peace, sir. Until next time, y'all. Goodbye.